Can you see this? This is not a foggy camera lens. This is our air right now, which is uh, very unhealthy right now. Just, can you see the fog, you guys? And it smells horrible. When I first walked out, I thought, oh, that's probably like smoke or something, you know, because in the southwestern part of Virginia and over into Kentucky, Tennessee, like that area is just riddled with forest fires. But when I looked at the particulate matter, we are, we, we have PM 2.5 and PM 10 is what is affecting our air right now. Let me turn around again. So we have the 2.5 particulate matter and PM 10 is what's um, in our air right now. And I did a check on that and I'll show you some screenshots that I took of describing what it is because I wanted to know like what, what was the difference. And then I looked at a chart. It was fine. It was all safe. It was all good quality. And then all of a sudden at 1 a.m. it jumped up to the danger zone. I'm like, well, what, what happened? Like, why did it, why did it just jump up? You know, I just find it really, just really interesting. Uh, my daughter thinks that it smelled like glue. Um, I, it smells a little bit like chemical to me. I don't know. And we had the same thing when we, we had a very bad air quality, uh, week here in Virginia. And it was, I think it was around June because I remember taking my daughter's elegance ball pictures outside and I got a picture of her and her friend and you could see just how much smog and ugly, uh, nasty air was actually dimming the sun. God, I can smell it through the car and everything too. And I even put the little recirculating thing on the thing. Okay, so today is Friday and it is $5 Friday and I am going to go to the Dollar Tree and I'll show you what I get. It's actually things for Thanksgiving weekend and I'll show you what I get. I'm going to spend $5 on the actual, on, on just this one thing and it's not food. And then also I'm going to go over to Martin's. So these are all in the same area. So I'm going to go over to Martin's to get my turkey, but also get uh, to check the, the, um, Bolt House Farms smoothies. Now I'm doing a fat, I'm doing a detox y'all because of all this crap. Um, I'm doing a detox. I'll share with you what I'm doing. Um, I'll share with you some things, uh, that you can do to help your body, um, areas like this. If you live in an area that has a lot of smog and a lot of, um, chemicals and, uh, things like that, then you're going to want to make sure that you have, uh, some things in your arsenal to help your body be able to get rid of these heavy metals and toxins that get into your body. One of those things is spirulina. Um, and I have it in a, um, tablet form only because, um, I'm not making like smoothies every day. And I used to, I used to have like a powder form and I would put it into a smoothie and it turns it like, it looks like chlorophyll. <laughs> and so that's one of the things that many, um, holistic doctors will recommend to you is that um, anything that is dark green, anything that, that has like, like chlorophyll properties in it will help detox your body of toxins and heavy metals and things like that. If you can get a green smoothie in your body every day, and I'm talking anything that would be called like a, a green heavy metal detox smoothie, you can find these recipes online, then that would be, that. that's a great thing to have. If you can do a three day detox where you're literally just flushing your bodies with minerals, vitamins from fruits and vegetables and things like that. If you can do that, like, you know, once a month or once a quarter, <laughs> I would suggest doing it because it really does help your body. It helps your liver. Our livers are so overworked that, um, they're sluggish. Okay. And that's just from everything, not just our diet, our, our Western <laughs> diet over here in America, you know, with all kinds of crap that's in the foods and our, and it's overloading our livers. It's like an overworked mother. She will do whatever she needs to do to make sure that everybody is, um, you know, 
her family is functioning, her house is functioning, whatever, and it's at her own cost. Um, and so if you can think of that, if your liver and like overworked and underpaid, <laughs> it's time to pay your liver. It's time to invest in your liver. And so um, anyway, so spirulina is one. Green smoothies are another one. Lemon balm. Now that's another one that you can get that in a little bottle. I have, um, I get mine auto shipped from Amazon. And you want to use, uh, that helps also your digestion and everything it's also great for immunity boosters as well so if you're sick you know add the lemon balm and what I like to do instead of just taking the dropper in my mouth I will take three full droppers and put it in something about the size of a shot glass three full droppers in the bottom of there fill it up with some filtered water and just do it like a shot and um, that actually does help with your digestion and cleansing with your kidneys and things like that um, but also great immunity boost. So that's something else to have on your shelf. Okay, you guys, real quick. Dollar Tree did not have the items that I wanted to get in there at all. So what I wanted to get were the little uh, foil muffin tins. Do you remember last year when I made a video, it was a short video, about um, like holiday meal hacks for your leftovers and in each muffin well you would put a scoop of the food in there and then you would have like a little reheatable TV dinner type of thing for your leftovers and you got a little bit of everything and you could just stick it in the oven. Um, they didn't have anything like that at all. No muffin tins whatsoever unless you went into the baking section and got a metal pan you know for baking actual muffins. So um, I'm going to have to go to the grocery store and get them. And I know that they are a lot more expensive. Um, I could spend $5 and get eight little trays, but in the grocery store, I will spend $8 for four trays. So um, yeah, I'm upset. But anyway, we'll see. Maybe I can find them. In, maybe I can find them at Walmart for cheaper. Um, I just know that at the grocery store they're more expensive. But you all, okay. So I walked in there. While I said, well, you know what? I'm gonna get some of these while I'm in there. So because I remember I was telling you I needed some like throat drops or something. Um, so I got these vitamin C um, uh, supplement drops, and so I got a bag of those, and I got a um, shadow switching sponge. So when you want to change your eye color, you can, um, you know, sometimes I will just put the brush, you know, I will just flick it here on my wrist or sometimes I'll use a washcloth. Well, now I can have my own sponge for that instead of dirtying up the washcloth all the time. And so I got one of these for $1.25. Y'all, this would be a great stocking stuffer for somebody in your house who likes makeup. Um, I also got this cuticle oil. We're in that time of year, y'all, where my fingers and my hands get so dry and I can try to rub lotion in there and stuff this cuticle oil is really good and I saw some vitamin E oil in the grocery store and it was almost eight dollars for the same size bottle and this is a dollar twenty five at the Dollar Tree and it is um, 0.45 fluid ounces and it's the same thing basically it's cuticle oil and nail strengthener and it says it has um, it moisturizes with vitamin E. What I was gonna get in the grocery store was just basically vitamin E oil. So basically, save yourself the money and get it at Dollar Tree. Another stocking stuffer idea for someone who likes to do nails in their house. Um, and then this has got to be the best deal I have seen. These makeup wipes, look how many. One, two, three, four. Let me just turn it the right way. All right, four packets, and there are 30 wipes in each packet, 120 wipes. This is a great deal, and it's the retinol, y'all. We need the retinol when we get older, but um, retinol facial cleansing wipes. Awesome deal, and even the lady at the register checked. She was like, you know, she's looking at it, and I said, I had to look too, but it says, four packs right there so because she thought maybe they were stuck together or something nope they were so y'all go get some of these this is an excellent deal and you can just throw them in your um your your stash and just have them you, you can take these camping um 
you know, or just use them every day. I mean, for crying out loud, this is an awesome deal. So anyway, go get some of that. And that was my $5. My $5 Friday was not what I had anticipated, but um, anyway, we're gonna go home and uh, I'm gonna sit in front of the air purifier for a while and I'm gonna have one of these in the meantime. So y'all take care, be safe out there. Happy Thanksgiving because the next time I, well, I'll have a video up before Thanksgiving, but the next um, Friday five is gonna be Black Friday. And I don't know if I'm able to find anything, but we'll see, we'll find out, we'll find some things. So y'all take care, stay sassy, but keep it classy y'all.